everyone, welcome to Resa Post Live. This is Shraddha. Let's take a look at today's headlines. Administrative Service Officer and Additional Sub Collector of Nabarangpur, Prasanta Kumar Raut, was arrested by vigilance for amassing disproportionate assets. Raut has amassed assets of more than Rs 5.21 crore, which is 506% of his known source of income. SP of Vigilance Cell M. Radhakrishnan said, as per our estimates till now, Raut has amassed uncounted money to the tune of Rs 5 crore. He failed to provide the source of the money and assets. A case in this connection has been registered at Raulkela Vigilance Police Station. He has been arrested and will be forwarded to court soon. Odisha Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak on Saturday directed officials to remain prepared for floods with monsoon setting in over the state. Chairing a meeting of the state-level Natural Calamity Committee, Patnayak said at least 24 districts were affected by heavy rains and floods last year. The period from June to October is crucial for us, during which drought, flood or cyclone may occur, he said. In a shocking incident, a security guard stabbed a girl to death at GGP Colony in Bhubaneswar. The deceased has been identified as Bijaini Sahu, a resident of Jagat Singhpur who was working as a receptionist at a private organisation in Bhubaneswar. The accused security guard was agitated with the company authorities over salary issue. On June 20, he tried to barge into the office wielding a knife. However, Bijaini confronted him at the reception. Enraged by her act, the security guard stabbed Bijaini with a knife he was holding and fled the spot. Advisor of ruling BJD's legal cell and former president of Odisha High Court Bar Association, Gopal Krishna Mohanty, has joined the Congress ahead of the Lok Sabha and State Assembly election due next year. Mohanty formally joined the party in the presence of Odisha Pradesh Congress Committee President Sarath Patnayak along with more than 30 lawyers. Several senior Congress leaders were present at the joining ceremony held Friday evening at the Congress Bhavan in Bhubaneswar, while Mohanty vowed to bring more members from the legal profession into the Congress party. The Indian Meteorological Department has issued a now-cast warning for five districts including Odisha's twin city of Bhubaneswar and Katak Saturday. Moderate rain or thunderstorm with one or two spells of intense rainfall is likely in Khurda, Katak, Kendrapada, Jagat Singhpur and Nayagarh in next two to three hours. The state government has begun construction on the Shikachandi Hills as part of its strategy to turn hills into a tourism destination. A four-member delegation from the National Green Tribunal arrived in Bhubaneswar Saturday to inspect the work. The team was established by response to the NGT's directive on June 12 to investigate claims that the Shikachandi Hills project near Bhubaneswar violated the Forest Act of 1980. Locals have been fiercely opposing the project, claiming that the construction activities would harm biodiversity. An all-party meeting convened by Union Home Minister Amit Shah began in Manipur Saturday. The meeting aims to discuss the prevailing situation in Manipur. Nearly 120 people lost their lives and over 3,000 have been injured ever since ethnic violence broke out in the state on May 3. Leaders of different political parties including the BJP, Congress, Trinamool Congress, Left Parties and others are taking part in the meeting. Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his strong pitch successfully impressed the US entrepreneurs. He said this is the moment to invest in India as governments of both the countries have done the groundwork for business and companies to take advantage of the opportunity and to play and propose it. Further, he urged the business community to step forward and take full advantage of this opportunity. The Prime Minister invited the professional to forge partnership with India. Google is set to invest USD 10 billion in India's digitization fund. The news was confirmed by CEO Sundar Pichai. He met PM Narendra Modi Friday and also announced the opening of Google's Global Fintech Operations Centre in Gujarat International Finance Tech City in Gandhinagar. The investment aims at recognising India's leadership in fintech and will support small and large business in India, the US and around the world. Russian President Vladimir Putin has announced that necessary order has been given to the troops to neutralise those who have orchestrated the armed rebellion. The announcement was done in a televised address to the Russians Saturday. The president addressed the nation as Wagner mercenary chief Yevgeny Prigozhin's armed forces declared to have gained control over the Russian city of Rostov and his army continued to march towards the capital to oust the military leadership of the country. That's all for today's headlines. Stay tuned to Odisha Post Live for more such updates.